Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We're going into the big holiday weekend. Memorial Day weekend is here. It's the unofficial start of summer. It is not going to feel like summer. We are going to have a cool, windy, and likely wet weekend for a lot of us. Let's get right to the details. I'm going to start first with a map I don't show you very often. This is the 500 millibar heights, which is up there around 15,000 feet into the atmosphere. Um, just below the jet stream level. It also has vorticity on here, which is basically showing you what type of spin is in the atmosphere at that height. That's basically where we have storms. So what I want to show you first, I'm going to stop this as we go into Thursday, because what's going to happen is something called a Rex block. This Rex block forms, ooh, let me back up here. I kind of jumped ahead. A Rex block is a blocking pattern in the atmosphere, which basically blocks things from moving. And what happens is, in this case, yeah, think of these upper lows or these disturbances that get trapped outside of the main flow. It's like a listless ship, a ship that doesn't have a motor or a rudder. It's not in the current, which is the jet stream, which is going to be basically going like this. So it just meanders around, makes for a difficult forecast, but also can make for persistently ugly weather for a couple of days. And you see this setup here on the map. If you look across the southeast, we've got a couple little swirls moving on here. I'm going to pause this here. I've got one back here, one near the surface. And then the jet stream is way up here with high pressure over the Great Lakes. This kind of setup is what we call the Rex block. It's a blocking pattern. It basically keeps things from moving in the atmosphere. Actually, I'm going to change the color of my, my telestration here. So what happens in these situations is you tend to get things meandering across the southeast that just don't move. So across the whole southeast, we're going to have what's called a cutoff low, and it's just going to sit there with little disturbances rotating around each other. This is going to keep the weather pretty persistently ugly, starting maybe as early as Thursday night and Friday, but most definitely Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. It's really not until Tuesday that you see that piece of energy move out. So what's this going to look like down at the surface where we are? Well, we can look at that as well. We'll go into the next couple of days. We'll go into tonight and tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's the 25th. We'll go into the afternoon. A couple things you notice here. High pressure building over the Great Lakes. That's a surface high. That surface high, the impact of that surface high on us is going to be that it's going to provide cool, dry air. Because remember, the flow around high pressure is clockwise. The flow around low pressure, which is going to be the surface low on the coast, is counterclockwise. So the combination is basically they team up to give us really cool northeast winds. And the bigger the pressure difference between this high and this low, which means if this is really strong, this is like a mountain of air, and this is like a valley of air down here, the air wants to fill and rush that, that difference in pressure creates a lot of wind. And we're going to see a lot of wind coming up this weekend. You can see going into Friday, um, you kind of see the low kind of pushes inland. And by Saturday morning, uh, we're going to have rain over the Carolinas. I think the surest bet I have for rain is going to be Saturday, and it looks pretty widespread at times. Now, as we go into Sunday, the rain looks a little more scattered. This looks real pessimistic on Sunday, but it looks like one of those days where it could be cloudy, drizzly, misty kind of all day. And remember, temperatures could struggle to even get into the 70s this weekend. Now, this low, depending on where it goes, and there's still some uncertainty, by the way, uh, Sunday into Monday. It might still be over us early on Monday. You can see this is Monday morning, okay? It's still meandering around with some scattered showers. So Monday looks a little better because the low looks like it weakens or fills in or moves out. But man, when you look at this, this just looks, I mean, let's go back. I'm going to go back here. This is tomorrow evening. This is the 25th. So this is Wednesday, or Thursday night. We'll go into Friday. Friday morning, Saturday. Ugh. Sunday, and then finally starts to move out as we go into Tuesday. I mean, that is just not a great setup. That is going to be an ugly weekend overall. So let's just take a quick look at the amount of rain we could see. Certainly going to be heavier on the coast. And again, uh, some of these totals could be pretty ridiculous as we go into the weekend along the coast. I tell you what, the one thing I know is for sure, if you're going to the beach this weekend, this is a bad weekend to go to the beach. It does not look like a great weekend out there. Um, we go all the way into Monday, okay? Um, you could see some of these totals. Let me move this out of the way and I'll kind of sample some of these just to show you, you know, some of these 14 inches offshore, but some of these totals, you know, inland, one to three inches possible, depending on the track of the low with lesser amounts. So this is really going to pile up as we get into the end of the weekend into early next week. But it all depends on the low. There's still a lot of uncertainty in this forecast. I don't want you to completely cancel your plans this weekend. Trust me, I know a lot of people have outdoor plans. But right now, I would definitely plan for it not to be a great beach, pool, or lake weekend because it's just going to be cold and cloudy 
and Drizzly. And if you want to cancel out their plans, you could start adjusting those, but you better have a rain plan right now. That's what I will tell you, because while I don't expect severe storms or constant rain, there's going to be a, enough on and off rain that it will impact outdoor activities Saturday, Sunday, and maybe even Monday. Though I will give you a little glimmer of hope. The weather should slowly get better as we go through the weekend with Saturday being the worst, Sunday not as great, and Monday looking better, and then Tuesday getting a lot better. Of course, we'll have updates over the next couple of days. It's still Wednesday, by the way. A lot to unpack with this system as we get closer to the holiday weekend.